Good day everyone, today I'm recording the 5 worst mistakes in TF2, most common worst things that piss me off the most basically in TF2 that I always see people doing. They are miscellaneous mistakes, some of them some of them more common than others, but they still piss me and they piss a lot of people off. Um, and a lot of players do these mistakes surprisingly quite, quite frequently, so we're basically going to go through the rundown of every single one. And I'll, and I'll tell you how to fix those mistakes and stop doing them to start being a better player. This is basically, you know, a guide. And most of the gameplay here is me as soldier playing on the um, on RTF2 server that I an event that I hosted this afternoon. So hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the tips from uh, the least worst to the worst. So number five to number one. So we're gonna go ahead and start with number one, uh, we're number five right now. Not knowing the limits of your class. There are a ton of people who do not know the limits of every single class and this is not something that you know is very hard to understand limits of every single class are very easily uh, picked up like only after playing one or two classes at a time i have seen countless amount of players play let's say heavy and think they're this indestructible tank or play scout and think they're this fast moving you know, hit scanning, retarded guy, or playing spy thinking they're so invisible and no one can see them, or, you know, playing sniper thinking they're sort of some survival expert pulling off headshots at a thousand yards. No, no, and no, you are not, not most likely what you think. You have to learn, like, the, the limits of every single class. For instance, Heavy is not the super tank that you think. A soldier can easily take him down with four rockets. Just things like that you that you have to know of. So basically, we're going to move on now to number four, which is playing the wrong class at the wrong time. This is probably the most common mistake. Look at this gameplay right here, and we're going to look at how many snipers I kill on the enemy team. They are on offense. Let me remind you, they are on offense, and they can't seem to push out of spawn. First of all, they have no Ubers. Second of all, they have a shit ton of snipers. Actually, yes, they had an Uber, sorry. But, um... They have a shit ton of snipers doing nothing. Let's let's go ahead. I killed this soldier really easily here, and you know, it's just it's just I, I found it ridiculous how these guys, who are a full team of twelve players, were unable to push out a spot. One sniper, two snipers. Those are two different snipers right there. Two is already stupidly a lot. Now we're still spawn camping them right here. This is something that that shouldn't happen on payload. It's it's ridiculous. Three snipers. The enemy team had three different snipers that is beyond incredibly stupid for a 24 player server Do you understand this that is the reason why they couldn't push out and i'm sure they had a spire two in there you have to learn what classes to play just because you like playing sniper it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that the team is going to win when you do so it will most likely lose so you have to know to play power classes and the right class when I've countless, I've seen countless times where there's just people who only main sniper, spy, and scout. Get out of that comfort comfort zone, guys, and start playing a real class. I mean, come on, this is this is beyond ridiculous at this point. It's just some common knowledge on on you know which class to play when, and it's just it's just it just pisses me off more than anything to be honest. And you know, here I, I get killed and all. Anyways, moving on to the next tip now. Thinking a new unlock is better than than anything default. And I'm just going to give a side note here. The following clip is bad on purpose. That for this clip, I use the direct hit for soldier. Most of the weapons, I'm, I'm talking 95% of every single weapon unlocked in TF2 is a side grade. There are no, almost none, um, direct upgrades to any weapons. Know that right away. Stop using unlocks as main weapons. Number two, not caring about others. It's easy to hit the MVP list if you care about others in the team. It is not hard at all to just be a team player for once, not care about your kills, and then just, you know, get up in there and get some good kills. I want you to play medic on my team. No need, no team needs six snipers. The worst. Caring about your fucking kill death ratio in TF2. In any source game. If you care about, if you care about your kill death ratio, you deserve to be hung like by the ceiling and just tortured to death. Seriously, if you care about your kill death ratio in, in TF2, well, I'm doing so bad. Look at this. The game doesn't even track your ki your kill death ratio. The game doesn't publicly display your kill death ratio. It only displays your points on the leaderboard. 
No one can see on the leaderboard how many how many kills you have. No one can see on the little on the leaderboard how many deaths you have. That's just up to you. You gain points by by simple things. Let's say pushing up the cart, defending defending an objective, extinguishing teammates, healing teammates, destroying sentry guns. All those things don't involve me directly killing players, but they still get me a ton of points. Capping objectives yields a ton of points, guys. Why can't none of you get this? Please don't care about your kill death ratio in this game. It doesn't matter at all. You can get, you know, 20 deaths in one round and like five kills and still finish MVP if you destroyed a ton of sentries, sapped a ton of buildings, and uh, you know, capped a ton of points. I've done it before. It's completely entirely possible, guys. Come on, please stop doing this. And that's basically the rundown of my top, the top five worst mistakes in TF2. So, anyways. A like or two would be appreciated for this video. I'm not going to, you know, set any objective because I know I'm being a little bit annoying with that. So, I'd like anyone to check the group, though. I'm I'm looking for people to join a Highlander tournament. Everyone gets a nice medal for joining. It's, you know, it's an official TF2 Highlander medal. And uh, I want to get a nice team together. So, check the group for the announcement about, about that. And thank you everyone for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.